Your last speech, more music Monday radio station. This is 96.7 FM. Now counting down the hours to the official relaunch of Belfast's newest radio station right here on 96.7 FM. Things getting very exciting. 27 minutes past nine. Stuart Robinson into midnight. The music continues and this is Madonna from the Bedtime Stories album. Go on, take a bye on 96.7 FM. Good evening to you. 96.7 FM never failing to play you the best new music. No exception, local talent, Tin Man, Indian Summer, why can't I be with you? So here we are into Monday night, the 30th of October 1996. It's your last speech, More Music Monday. Stuart Robinson seeing you right through to midnight when a brand new radio station takes over these very airwaves. 24 hours a day of the best music from the heart of Belfast. It's 96.7 FM. Good evening to you. Three and a half minutes away from the top of the hour. Coming up at 10, we update the local, national and international news. Taking us there, this is Alicia's Attic. I am, I feel. Good evening. 96.7 FM News. It's 10 o'clock, I'm Ruth Hill. Mandy Orwood, the woman expecting eight babies, is in hospital tonight. She's said to have gone into labour very prematurely. Specialists have warned her she faced a major risk of miscarriage if she went through with the multiple births. A publicist, Max Clifford, says she's had contractions over the last few days. She's between 19 and 20 weeks pregnant. Former Tory Trade Minister Neil Hamilton has been explaining why he pulled out of his cash for questions libel case against The Guardian the day before it was due to begin. The newspaper, which accused Mr Hamilton of taking money to ask parliamentary questions, is calling it the most astonishing cave-in in the history of libel law. But he says he simply couldn't afford to go on. This case has so far cost me, I should think, about four years parliamentary income, uh, about £150,000. Uh, and nobody, I think, can contemplate that level of expenditure with equanimity. Uh, the Guardian, on the other hand, of course, is a millionaire checkbook bully. The Northern Ireland peace process has been dealt another blow. Loyalist prisoners have withdrawn their support for the ceasefire, plunging it into what's been called the biggest crisis it's faced. Labour is trying to woo voters with plans to slash taxes to as low as 10 pence in the pound. Shadow Chancellor Gordon Brown also committed the party to the principle of a minimum wage, but didn't set a level. A jury in New York has awarded nearly £3 million to Mike Tyson's former trainer after he claimed he was unfairly sacked. Tyson says he'll appeal poorly reports. Kevin Rooney had sued for more than £32 million because he said Tyson had promised to keep him on as his trainer for the boxer's entire career. The jury deliberated for only one day before finding against Tyson, even though it was a verbal contract with nothing written down. Tyson testified he'd fired Rooney in 1988 because the trainer had talked to reporters about Tyson's stormy marriage and about a contract dispute with his manager. Paul Woodley in New York. Newcastle have beaten Aston Villa 4-3 in the highest scoring premiership match of the season. Villa's Dwight York hit a hat-trick, but his teammate Mark Draper was sent off. England hopeful Les Ferdinand hit two for Newcastle with £15 million man Alan Shearer and Steve Howie also on target. Independent Radio News. <laughs> Ninety-six point seven FM. Tune in and lock on from October the first for a brand new beat. Ninety-six point seven FM. Fourteen minutes past the hour of ten. Good evening. What about you? Stuart Robinson here to midnight. Just under two hours to go to the official relaunch of Belfast's brightest newest radio station, right here on ninety-six point seven FM. In the meantime, the music continues, and this is Wet, 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 Love is All Around. I feel it in my finger, I feel it in my toe. Where do you, where do you go? No mercy, where do you go? Good evening to you. One hour and 40 minutes away from the relaunch of Belfast News Radio Station. Broadcasting right here in this frequency, 96.7 FM. Music from the 60s to the 80s, plus the very best from today. Let's delve back a decade or two now. 
Go back into the 80s where AHA were big in the charts. Take when they said do not for thraldom, I said, You mean the adult good shop at 17 Lower North Street? Never heard of it. I don't know anything about thraldom's brilliant range of fetish and fashion wear, but a friend of mine who does <clears throat> said the new domination and bondage department was well worth checking out. Well, he's into rubber, PVC and leather. Plastic, I like. But the girlfriend's idea of plastic is my credit card. Hardly leaves me enough money for those little pleasure buys. Oops, there I went and said I'd never been to Thraldom, didn't I? So why don't you check it out instead? Thraldom, 17 Lower North Street. Will you be jumping to a new beat? Stay tuned to 96.7 FM. I'm not crying, I'm not crying. Just another one of the many hits on the new 96.7 FM. Paul Simon, you can call me Al. Rapidly approaching 25 minutes to 11 o'clock now. Musically on the way, what we got for you. Gonna keep it pretty upbeat. BC52's The Love Shack will take something from R.E.M. And a bit of Peter Andre following up this current from Phil Collins. Dance into the light on 96.7 FM. Good evening. Another massive summer UK top 10 hit from Peter Andre. Mysterious Girl. 96.7 FM is where you're tuned 10 minutes away from 11 o'clock. That meaning only one hour and 10 minutes left to the relaunch of a brand new radio station right here on... She's spent several weeks at the top of the US chart. And she's within the UK top 10 here. That has been a massive tune. Donna Lewis, I love you always forever on 96.7 FM. Before that, from the Disney's Lion King blockbuster, Elton John, can you feel the love tonight? So good evening, it is Stuart Robinson right through to midnight, bringing you in to Belfast's newest sound, moving to a new beat on 96.7 FM at midnight tonight. Nearly one hour to go, two news, Soul Asylum. Are you up in the middle of guess yet at what our first song is going to be played in the new radio station have you had any guesses towards what it may be stay here all will be revealed in 45 minutes from now back to the music we've got some prefabs spread on the way but a Cheryl Crow it's the Lighthouse family now it's true can't lose tonight. it's the cars who's going to drive you home oh I wonder I wonder Approaching 10 minutes past 11. So here we are, counting down the minutes to a brand new radio station broadcasting on this very frequency. Keep this frequency clear. 96.7 FM for a new radio station coming up right after the midnight news. Taking us that little bit closer, this is new from Celine Dion. It's all coming back to me now. There were nights when the wind was so cold. Independent Radio News. 96.7 FM. Tune in and lock on from October the 1st for a brand new beat. Seven minutes from the relaunch or the launch of Belfast's Better Music Station. City Beat FM broadcasting here on 96.7 FM coming up after midnight. Promising to play you only the best music from the 60s right through to the 80s. Plus the best from today as well. Please, 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 stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Things getting very exciting now. It's only six minutes to go. Then Belfast has officially moved to a new beat. Anyway, between now and then, we're going to keep the music coming at you. Let's slow it down a wee bit now. This is a good one. Will you be jumping to a new beat? Stay tuned to 96.7 FM. Belfast News Radio Station. It's going to come on over tonight at midnight. Broadcasting right here on 96.7 FM. It's the event of the year. Don't miss it. 
Taking a read, Juki ahead at tomorrow's weather. Tomorrow morning, bright with sunny spells, the best of these in the east. But the showers will spread in from the northwest to all parts during the day. Some heavier bursts are likely. The wind's going to be moderate westerly. And the high tomorrow for a woman from 1989. So look at that, the clock on the wall telling me that it's exactly 25 minutes to go. Hey. And it is Stuart Robinson here with you this Monday evening. Not just taking you into a brand new day, but handing you over to a brand new radio station broadcasting right here on 96.7 FM in 24 minutes from now. Things getting really exciting. To a new beat 14 minutes from now, it's not long to go. This is Sparks. No, no use in lecturing them That is just about it. I'm going to get out of here now. Or maybe I'll sit back at the back of the studio here and have a little drink of coke all by myself. Until the day That's Richard Marks now and forever. And that just about wraps it up. I've been a privileged person to be here tonight. Don't forget the best of the 60s, 70s and 80s. Not forgetting the very best from today continues right here on the new Belfast City Beat 96.7 FM. Broadcasting on this frequency in exactly three minutes' time. Ladies and gentlemen, let me announce that Belfast is just about to move to a new beat. For me, Stuart Robinson, please do have yourself a very, very good evening. It's only three minutes to go, and then it's the relaunch of the new beat for Belfast. Belfast City Beat, broadcasting on 96.7 FM in a second. It's exactly 12 midnight. Welcome to launch of Belfast's newest radio station, City Beat 90. More fun in the morning, Belfast City Beat. We're live from the heart of Belfast on this Tuesday morning. Here's a classic hit now from Martha Rees and the Vandellas dancing on the street with City Beat 96.7 FM. Simon Cadman, Mandy Allwood has lost three of the eight babies she was carrying. Most fast one. Hello! It's a Tuesday morning. Welcome along, friends and neighbors, into City Beat 96.7 FM in glorious stereo. I'm Kenny Tosh in the chair on the Eastern Midnight Show on 96.7 FM. Taking you right through until six in the morning with all your favorites. Clutter free. A brand new day, a brand new month, and a brand new radio station as well. Great to have you along. Here's Cher doing the thing. He's saying, Love hurts. Good morning. How are you doing? <laughs> 